slowly, slowly falling for you. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know what to do. Um, how are you doing? It is Thursday, the first I think of September. So we're in a new month, and um, basically, I'm in the weeds. If you're a server, you know what it means to be in the weeds. I have procrastinated on so much stuff. I have so much to get done, no time, but things don't have to suck just because of this. But yeah, I just want to say hi. I'm walking hey guys, right now. So today, we are going to the gym. Well, first we're gonna go get the car washed. Then we're going to the gym, and we're gonna be productive today. We're not gonna stay in the weeds. We don't wanna be in the weeds anymore. So yeah, just want to start that off, right? <laughs> Do you guys get in those moods where you're like productive for like maybe like two hours and then like you're not productive for like two months after that? Because that's kind of what I think is going to happen today. If I were in mind, would we get along all right? Hey vlog, so today I'm at a blended family dinner. I completely skipped the dinner part, but we have dessert. <laughs> my sister-in-law chastity and these are all of these great desserts what are you doing, what are you doing? No, vlogging say hi hello <laughs> do you want to try can you want to try can you turn that down how, how are you vlogging um well i'm recording it on my camera and then later on i'm going to put it on my laptop and edit it into a short movie yeah oh. so we hiked uh, the way for a very long time we passed what we were trying to get to now we made it here Everybody and their mom is here, which makes sense. It's a holiday, but it kind of sucks. Every time I think about you in my mind, I'm thinking if you're alright, even though. From the thrift store, and I got some really good stuff, and I want to show it to you. And I got like a really good deal too. I got seven things for like twenty six seventy. But I actually want to show you something. It hurts. I don't even want to look at it. Um. So. Sunday, not Sunday, Saturday morning I went to go work out, like at a park, and um, parked my car, and somebody keyed my car, and it makes me so sad, but actually I'm okay with it right now, I mean, they keyed it really bad, but I've come to terms with it, so let me just show you. It's pretty bad, it's like deep in there. And I don't really know why somebody would do that. So when I first saw it, like the first thing way I felt was like rage, pure rage. But um, as time goes on, I'm okay with it. Can't do anything about it. I'm not gonna go get my whole door repainted for like a thousand dollars. Nope. It hurts though because I just I've only had this car for six months. So and I've been taking good care of it. So to see it be defaced like that sucks. It's stupid dark right here. But um, yeah, I don't know why they would do that. It's like I'm a complete stranger. And I try to think of like, who would do this? Hold on, let me get back in some light. Hold on, okay, I'm back. So basically I was like, who would do this? Cause like, I'm not a bad parker. I'm a really good parker and I'm aware of my, how I park. Also my car is so small that like it can't, take up that much space in the own spot so it's not like it took up someone else's space um, I parked pretty far out so it's not like I was like near a lot of people the park was more crowded than usual though um, so I was like man this sucks it's just random it's just some bratty kid who probably did it but you know it happens life happens um, I was like was it like someone I knew? Cause it's like, why would anyone just do this randomly? Why would they take that risk? And I was like, was it an ex? <laughs> and I actually do have an ex who would do that to my car, but he doesn't know about this car. I've only had this car six months. So, I mean, 
unless he knows that I drive this car now, and it's definitely a place he would be. Didn't see him there that day. I don't think he did it, though. I just don't know, you guys, like, why this stuff happens, but it's okay. Um, I just try not to look at it, because it makes me sad and angry. I don't tell anybody about it. I've told a couple people about it. Like, I told my family about it when it first happened, because I was so angry. <laughs> but that was it, and... Because I, I don't want to hear what anyone has to say about it, because... Like, unless you're fixing the car, or you know someone who can fix it, I don't want to talk about it. I, like, I know how it looks, I've already inspected it, and I don't need, like, anybody's... You know how people are. Like, oh my god, I'm so sorry that happened to you, and it's like, but they don't mean it. It's like, just... Don't ever speak. <laughs> well, I don't care, like, what you're saying. But yeah, I'm going to show you guys what I got from the thrift store, but not right now, because I am hungry. Okay, bye. Hey, guys. So we're going to go over what I bought today from the store. Starting with these pants. Um, these are just, like, normal black slacks, but they're really nice, and they're, like, what are they? They're by Gap. They're called the perfect trouser, and they really were perfect. Like, these were the first pair of slacks I tried on when I got there, and they fit perfectly, and I love them. Hey, Ariel. Hi. I was going to say something. And then I got these black pants. They're not skinny jeans. They're actually, like, they're not flarish. They're just straight. They're just, like, straight, like, jeans, and they're just black, because I love black pants. And they're Levi's, which... They're great. Yeah, they're straight leg, like, plastic rise. And I like the rise. I like plastic rise pants or like high rise, mid rise. I like pants that are not low rise. <laughs> so these are great. And they're really soft. Bam. And I also got this sweater. It's just a plain Heather Gray sweater. And it's Banana Republic. And it's really soft and comfortable. Yeah. And then I got a t-shirt, because I have so many t-shirts. I always have t-shirts on, especially, like, when I work out and stuff. Um, and it's black, because I always wear black. Just says Santa Rosa, California, which is cool. And then I got this, like, distressed t-shirt. I like distressed t-shirts. I don't even know if you can see it. But it's, like... It looks kind of like bleach distress, you know, like bleach tie-dye. Does that make sense? Tie-dye bleach. Bleach distressed. All of those things in a combination that makes sense. I can't think of a combination that makes sense right now. But it's really cute, and it fits good. I like the sleeves. I don't like cap sleeves. I hate cap sleeves. I like when there's like a full sleeve, like a full sleeve that hits like right here. Like this has a full sleeve, you know what I mean? And this is an American Apparel shirt. Cool. It's just a t-shirt. I don't care. And then I got this really cute little dress, which I think I'm going to wear this weekend. It's just like a floral dress. And it's a little bit longer in the back. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah. And it has like lace detailing. It's like a Target dress. But... It's really cute, and I like it, and I think it'll be comfortable to wear um, this weekend at the concert. And last but not least, I got a denim skirt. And I've been looking for, like, the perfect denim skirt, but I'm having a really hard time finding one. I bought this one, of, like, last week from Papaya or Forever 21. I still have the tag. From Papaya, not Forever 21. I tried some on at Forever 21, but I couldn't find one. I got this one at Papaya, and it's cool. It's a little bit tight. Like, it has no stretch. It fits in the waist, but then, like, it comes down to, like, like, my butt and my thighs, and it, there's, it, I mean, it buttons, but it's, like, just because I got it on does not mean it fits. So, <laughs> yeah. You know, like, when denim doesn't stretch and you just don't even stand a chance? Yeah. But I'll fit it because... I'm going to fit this skirt. That's all there is to it. But anyways, this is the one I got last week. I didn't get this from Goodwill. But I like it. It's really cute. I like that it has pockets in the front. I like having pockets in the back, too. 
Um, but I chose, I ended up buying it just because it has buttons down the front. And I like buttons in the front. But this one that I got from Goodwill doesn't have buttons in the front. It's just like a normal like zip crotch type deal. But it has pockets in the back, which I appreciate. And it's also a little bit longer than the other one I bought. And it's stretchy, kind of. Like it's stretchier. It's from Old Navy. And um, I appreciate that it's stretchy. Because that means my butt can fit. My thighs can fit. And I have a lot of love for that. So yeah, that's all I bought. But anyway, that, I just want to show you guys what I got. Hope you're having a good one. Let me know if you want to see like a try on haul, if you want me to try my clothes on for you. <laughs> I don't think I would ever do that. I don't think I'll do that. But if you want me to do it, I'll show you. Like if I, when I go thrifting and shopping, I'll show you what I buy if you want to see. All right, bye guys. Oh, also I bought some lip stuff yesterday. I'm wearing one of them right now. Um, this one's called Hickory Smoked. It's the, it's from Wet n Wild. It's all like drugstore makeup. And then I also got like toffee frappe I think that's what it's called and that one's okay it's just neutral ish like kind of a it's just basic and there's another one I really want it I think it's called like looking for truffle but they were all out of it so I'm gonna keep looking for that one yeah that's it bye guys I'll see you in my next vlog because I think this is gonna be the last thing I put in this one bye